Hi YouTube, Make My Marvel here with the Punisher Comic Cat review from Sideshow Collectibles. This has uh, been reviewed a lot by a lot of people. It's been out for a while. I've had the statue for a while, just first time getting around to reviewing it. Um, so I'll give you my quick take on it. It's not going to be a long, a long video. But uh, again, Comic Cat. So this is uh, suppose you know one fifth scale, but it's a big one fifth scale. It's almost one quarter. And uh, at the end of the video, I'll put it next to um, a couple other quarter scale statues. You, you can see what I mean. It's it's not quite quarter scale, but it's there. It's it it displays really well with them. It also displays well with one fifth comic cat. So you really can't go wrong with this piece. This is the regular edition. Uh, the exclusive was just an art print. Um, it's got a couple of extras on that I just created for the statue and uh, I'll take those off show you the actual statue what it comes with um, my favorite part about this statue it being a comic cat being fully sculpted no mixed media on it is that this is the best representation of the Punisher that you can get in any statue but also that it is um, to me the best representation of how to do uh, fully sculpted fabric, uh, meaning, you know, the shirt, even though it's all sculpted, it looks like a real shirt being pulled, you know, and real pants being pulled um, like you normally would wear them. Uh, extremely realistic. It's, it's just, it's right on the money. Um, you know, it's, it's, you can see there, it's just for a tight fitting, you know, tight fitting shirt. Everything just kind of pulls the way it does. You see how the pull, pants pull up into the crotch area as his knees kind of forward there. They're flopped around. He's got his laces, which are fully sculpted, you know, wrapped around the boots and everything. Um, you know, there's a reason why this statue is so sought after. It's just about perfect in every way. Uh, so I'm not going to go into the details on, on paint and sculpt and everything. Just know if you're getting this statue, you're, you're getting, you know, Sideshow's perfection here. Um the, the camera speaks for itself. It, it all shows what it's supposed to be. Now, stuff that doesn't come with a statue. All right, that knife, that knife's off of Deadpool Premium Format. It happened to be an extra. Um, I just threw it back there as something extra to the base. So that doesn't come with a statue. Uh, and the mask, obviously, doesn't come with a statue. This I just made from... Sorry about the camera. Uh, this is just made from a... Um, a sunglass case so it just took like you know the fabric it's like a micro fabric from the sunglass case sewed it up made it so it fit his head painted the uh sorry about that let's see there we go paint the skull on it and cut out the eye hole so he could wear it this is based off of the newer punisher comics uh, when marvel did their marvel now and marvel you know all new marvel now uh changeover the Punisher logo went to three teeth as opposed to on a shirt, the four, the older Punisher logo. So this is what this is modeled after. Uh, made it so he could wear it. Uh, I also made it so, you know, he can hold it in his hand. Somewhat, maybe, if he wants to cooperate. Eh, whatever. But anyways, um, if I do fiddle with enough, he can hold it in his hand. Um, so just something extra, some little doesn't, you know, whatever. But, um, so again, the musculature of the statue is, is overkill. I mean, he is huge beyond belief, but, uh, it's great. It looks good. Even though he's gigantic, the anatomy's all there. Every muscle in the human body is represented. I mean, I think even his face has got a couple of muscles that don't even belong, but it's freaking awesome. And this is, uh, this is typical gore group, uh, face sculpting, you know, with that, beat up, you know, broken bridge nose of his, and, and he's a, he's a fellow Ginzo, so he's got that Italian look to him, they did it really well, I mean, that expression, expression is perfect, the slick back hair, they even gave him where, you know, shave part, and then the BFG, I love the little details of the skull and the butt of the rifle. And then back down here, the skull on the uh, hilt of the knife. 
tucked away. I mean, I, I swear every time I look at this, I got to touch it just to make sure that's not like an elastic fabric strap, but that's fully sculpted. But that looks like just like a black, you know, elastic fabric, elastic strap. It's, it's done in perfection. Same thing with the belt. Looks like a real, uh, you know, canvas webbing belt and everything. Really well done. All right. So, guys, if you haven't got this, go get it. Uh, you know, prepare to pay some money for it. Be surprised if you can get it for under a grand. I know some people, uh, some people still sell them pretty cheap. So, if you see it for less than a grand, I'd snatch it up. All right. Thanks for watching. Guys. Oh, sorry. I'll uh, show you guys where. Um, next to a quarter scale statue. Okay, so there's the Punisher with a couple, uh, well, three quarter scale statues. The Hawkeye and the Black Panther are both premium formats. Uh, and they're quarter scale. And then the Back and Black Spider-Man, that's a comic cat, but that is a quarter scale comic cat. That was before Sideshow changed their definition of uh, comic cats in premium formats. Um, so that's how he looks next to those guys. And again, you can see the size there. He's He's not true quarter scale. You can see he's a little bit smaller, but he displays really well with them. All right. Again, as always, guys, thanks for watching.